Yo, what's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Double A Nine Skills, and this is a little bit different, st like style of reaction video. So I'm gonna have my post com with my live com. Does that wait? My post like reaction with my live reaction. So I'm gonna speak on it up to the point where I'm gonna put the live reaction and then cut all the boring stuff out. So pretty much. England's matched up against Tunisia. This is the England versus Tunisia reaction. Real quick, smash the thumbs up if you like this style and you want more reactions on this channel. If this gets 5,000 likes, we will keep this going. Oh wow, they're doing a show on that team. Remember when the plane fell? Yeah, like how the team has recovered. Anyway, sorry guys, that live reaction as you can see. So we're at halftime right now when I'm doing this and I wanna speak on England versus Tunisia. So, going into the game, everyone's thinking, okay, England has an opportunity to really smack this team and um, pick up three points, win the game, and make sure they get out this group and win the group. All right, so boom, that's what everyone's initial thought is. This Tunisia team recently played against Portugal, got a draw, I believe. Played against another really big team and also got a draw. So they're a team not to take lightly. But more importantly, let's not talk about Tunisia because I don't think there's anything special they're doing. Let's talk about what England does. Their lineup, I don't want to speak on their lineup because their lineup seems to be a decent lineup. I wouldn't go with the three back, five back type formation. So. It's a three back with like Stones and Walker and stuff, but then Young and, and, and Trippier, as we know, they drop back, so it's kind of like a five back formation. I don't really like it. I would go with a traditional, maybe a four, um, it, it, like a, like a, maybe a, a four, one, two, and two, something, I don't know. I would go with something for them, something more traditional, something more England, something more, uh, get some more midfielders in there, because England does have a lot of great midfielders in, in, in to, to like their, you know, that they can grab. Anyways, uh, we start the game off. England comes out balls like, balls deep. Bang and shooting, 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 and I, I don't have the reaction to the first like 15 minutes because we went to go get food, but I was watching it in the car. Um, there was a bunch of chances misses early, missed early in the game. The first five minutes, England could have scored at least one or two. They were absolutely coming out very, very like guns blazing. They were balling out, right? So we get home, I turn the TV on, uh, I go outside for one more second, come back in, boom, England scored. Harry Kane gets a goal. And now I'm thinking, all right, you know what? This is the first tournament that they, you know, they, they, they're gonna do this. They're gonna come out, they're gonna do what they gotta do. They're gonna dominate, they're gonna get it, they're gonna go, they're gonna beast, they're gonna feast. But then I slowly start seeing Tunisia grow back into the game. I start seeing Sterling miss opportunities, Lingard miss opportunities. I start seeing that like people missing opportunities that possibly could have been, you know, a goal. All of a sudden, ball gets whipped in and this happens. He gave a penalty! What? Stop that! Oh wow! Would you give a pen for that? His elbow does come across, but would you give a pen for that? What are you doing? numbers. Why is he doing that? Why is he? Why is he even putting his arm on him? That's a pen, bro. Why did he swing his arm? There's nobody even around. Do you think he makes it? Do I think he makes it? Yes. Yeah. It's 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 like it's like it's like England's duty at the World Cup to let this let this penalty go. This is their duty, bro. I told you. And this is why English fans always talk smack about this team. Because it is. They could have ended this game. This game could be over. They should have like three, four goals. Instead, Walker gives away a penalty. This guy's gonna step up to the spot. He's praying on him. My man picked for it. Young as hell, he's in that night. He's like, damn, I really wish they brought Joe Hart instead of me at this point. This feels bad. He has the entire weight of the queen on his back and the entire country. And then he scores. I think Pickford actually saves this. I think he becomes an English hero right here. What a penalty. The dude went the right way and he still scored it. It's just, it's just England's duty. His <laughs> boobies. Was that guy had no shirt on? He was all painted? Oh man, he had bigger boobs than me. Yo, look, bros. It's, it, it's England's duty, bro. It's England's duty. To do stuff like this, bro, this game could be 4-0. So now I'll bring you back to this point where we say, what was Walker doing? Why is Walker extending his arm there? Behind him was Trippier on that play, I think, I believe it was. Somebody, am I saying his name right? I, right, right, I might be saying it wrong. But he has somebody with him. The keeper's still in net. 
It's two English players v one Tunisia player. I know Walker doesn't know exactly who's around him because the heat of the moment, World Cup, a lot's going down. But why are you extending your arm in the box? Um, you know, I, I, where the plays at, I don't even think that header is going to go in if he actually connects on it. And you take your chances. He gives away a penalty, soft penalty, but still a penalty. Um, I think it's still a penalty. I mean, he, his arm is on him, so on the rule of feet of, of football, he does touch him. But you give away a penalty, and um, boom, Tunisia puts it into the back, and then a fantastic penalty, and all of a sudden we go into like you know some more great chances from 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 Lingard in England. They had a couple more chances there where they could have done their thing, but there was also chances for Tunisia. So um, England once again shows up at a tournament where. A game that they should be picking up three points. They have a good team. They got a superstar player in Harry Kane. I would say that's a massive superstar. Uh, Deli Ali, good player. Lingard, obviously fantastic. I mean, they have such a good team. And once again, first 45 minutes, they're underperforming. Now, it's the whole thing of like the 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 small. We saw this in the Euro. We saw it for Portugal as well. Portugal against Iceland underperformed. Against Hungary underperformed. Portugal showed up well against Spain, but are they going to show up well against um, uh, Morocco in a game where you tied against Spain? You probably should be able to beat Morocco, but are you going to be able to? I don't know. These are the type of games that are the biggest challenges in the World Cup, and England seems to really struggle every time they play a team that they should beat. You know what I'm saying? The, the, the goal is unbelievable. I'm actually staring at the goal right now. Harry Kane's goal. That ball should have been in the first place when the keeper missed it. What a save. I mean, what a save from the keeper. And the Harry Kane with the rebound. But we'll see what happens in the second half. So far, England, you got you to play a little bit better, man. We need, to, we, need more, we need more urgency from you, baby. We need more urgency from you. We need these three points. Come on. That's a great ball. That's a great ball. Why didn't Rashford shoot it? Oh my goodness. All right, bros, there's actually three minutes left in this game, and Ray Ray's sleeping. This game has been so boring. Ray Ray fell, that's the first time I've seen Ray Ray fall asleep during a football game. She fell asleep, bro. Ray never falls asleep during football games, bro. Never, ever since she started watching football with me, she never falls asleep, but I'm gonna be, there you go, Rashford. There you go. Ever since Rashford's come into the game, there's been a massive spark. And England's looked a lot better. I think the team needs Rashford, Harry Kane, and Sterling all at the same time. It's the 88th minute right now, or about to be the 88th minute. Tunisia hasn't really done anything to score a goal. This referee, in my opinion, hasn't been good. The penalty was super soft, if it is a penalty. Um, Harry Kane got absolutely MI, like MMA'd in the box two times. Um, those were bad calls. And, and I don't know, it's, it's, it's one of those things where for me, look, you're not going to call the Harry Kane stuff, that's fine. You don't want to call the Harry Kane stuff, that's fine. Don't call the Harry Kane stuff. But then that Walker penalty is not a penalty. Because if, wait for it. Send the ball, they try so much, just send it. Um, look, if you're not going to call the Harry Kane's, which are clear contact, then the Walker one's not a penalty. Because yes, there's contact on the Walker one, but it's soft. And if that soft thing's a pen, then the Harry Kane ones are pens. That's how I look at it. England, for me, man, they just do that extra thing. Like, right here, Rashford could have shot. He does the dummy to give it to, Le to, to Lengard. When, honestly, you take the shot. When they go to cross the ball, they always take that step too much. It's like they overthink it in their head. Like, the pressure's too much of the World Cup or the Euros are in their head. Yo, England, like, you don't have to... Oh my God, that's a beautiful over the top. Tunisia versus, if that wasn't Walker, they would be in trouble. England like lives with this pressure of having to do great, but England hasn't done great in a long time. You guys know it like I know. I'm not trying to be mean because honestly, I want England to win this game. A lot of people say, why is England, this game important to you? My best friend, the Panthers, is like a brother to me. I want him to be happy. 70% of my audience is from England and you guys watch all my videos, so I want you guys to be happy. You guys are my homies, you guys are my family. I want y'all to be happy. Just like I wanted Mexico to win for Ray, because if it, if it wasn't for Ray, I wouldn't have cared what happened in the Mexico game. I'd have been like, oh, whatever happens, neutral. Uh, but because I got someone so close to me that supports Mexico, I wanted Mexico to win. And because I know Nep's at home biting his nails right now, um, and I've watched lo I watched the entire Euro with Nep watching him watch England. So I want them to do well, man. And my audience is all English. So for me, this game is super important as well, and I want them to do well. But they piss me off, man. They legitimately piss me off. They I'm not even English, and like they overthink everything. And England hasn't done good in many years, right? 
So stop trying to like play with pressure. Like no one expects you to do well anymore. Just stop, like just play football, yo. They overthink everything. And this formation's ass, man. I don't care what anybody says, yo. I don't like it. The five back into three back, it's like you push, it's when they're defending, they're defending with five. When they push forward, it's with, the, with, the, with three back. I don't like it, man. I don't like that formation at all. Get Rashford in there, get Sterling, get Harry Kane. If, if, go, Harry Kane. Let's go! Harry Kane saves the day, but I was about to say, bro, change that. Run like we're Sterling on a wing, Rashford on the other wing, and Harry Kane down the middle, and run like a 4-3-3 or something, bro. This three, I don't like it, but that's just me. English, all my English viewers in the comments down below, let me know. Tunisia, a bit unlucky there to, to get scored on the 90th minute, but I would say England deserved that, man. They've been pushing. Hopefully this is a wake-up call for England, man. Hopefully they like see like, yo, y'all need to like, oh, that's such a ball fell right to Harry Kane by himself. Big goal. Look at that finish, bro. Let's go. Good finish, man. Three points. Massive three points. Humongous. They're Belgium's group, right? So now they're going to be top of the table, Belgium. Big goal. Belgium will be up top because they, they won 3 nil, which means they didn't suffer a goal. They'll be up top. Goal difference. Big goal, though, man. Big, big goal for England right there. Big goal, massive goal. Two minutes left, they have to hold on. But like I was saying, man, I don't really like the formation. Hopefully they sort it out. Um, crazy, man, crazy, crazy. Big, big, big goal for Harry Kane. I'm pretty sure that's game over, bros. So with that being said, if you enjoyed this video, make sure to smash a big old thumbs up. Make sure to subscribe. I'm gonna keep this on just in case like Tunisia and England score again, but I'm pretty sure that's the end of the game. They're bringing Eric Dyer. Let me know your thoughts on the England performance in the comments down below. Do you like the formation? Do you think Sterling, Rashford, and Harry Kane should be in there together? I think they should. Rashford and Harry Kane and Sterling on a wing, Harry Kane down the middle, and then whatever you want to do in the back. Make sure to smash a big old thumbs up subscribe, and if you want more of my reactions, like the English games, the Portugal games, the Mexico games, smash that big old thumbs up, and unlucky to all my Tunisian fans, man. You guys deserved uh, maybe a point. I don't know. That was, that was a pretty boring game, bros. Hey, thanks for watching. Booyah.